Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Eddie Signor, and big breaking news uh, to sort of sum up a story I've followed for a long time. Yay, Fisher. Well, you guys remember Yay, Fisher was out there saying he's done working with DC Films President Walter Hamada. Well, the Zack Snyder extreme fan base, the cult as I call him, that small major- min- minority of just awful psychotic fans that just will do whatever they can to defend Zack and Ray and anybody associated with that movie. Well, they were out there saying, no, Walter's out. Walter's gone. Ray's clearly pushing this. And now Walter's next. Now they got rid of Jeff and Joss and everything. Clearly, Walter Hamada is gone. Well, Walter Hamada re-ups deal as DC Films president. Exclusive. Coming in from Variety. Walter Hamada has signed a multi-year deal extension to remain president of DC Films. Insiders tell Variety. Extension is through 2023. One individual familiar with the talks noted. Studio is announcing the deal imminently. Hamada will continue to report to Toby Emmerich. Labels responsible for bringing all of DC's superhero canon to screens, including Wonder Woman 84. Hamada joined DC Films in 2018, coming from New Line, where he served as executive vice president of production. I described an ambitious amount of theatrical movie plans and streaming spinoffs based off marquee characters, including Batman, Superman, The Flash, and fan favorites like Batgirl and Static Shock. Hamada's extension is an indicator that his longtime colleague and boss Emmerich, who used to run New Line, trusts his stewardship of DC Films moving forward. Hamada succeeded uh, former uh, uh, DC head Jeff Johns and John Berg, both now producers, pulling out hits like Aquaman, uh, Shazam, from a lackluster unit relaunch that was meant to compete with Disney's Mighty Marvel. The executive was thrust in the spotlight last summer after Justice League Ray Fisher accused Tamada of enabling unspecified misconduct from the... F- Notice they even said it. Unspecified misconduct. Uh, like, that's... that's <laughs> There's lots to say here, but let's get to the news. Uh, that film's director, Joss Whedon. Uh, Fisher, who played the character Cyborg in two uh, films in the forthcoming Justice League, also accused Johns, of Berg, Johns and Bergs of similar enabling. Hamada was not the head of DC Films during principal photography on Justice League. Warner Media conducted an investigation into the matter after Fisher went public on Twitter in July, which concluded last month and resulted in remedial action. Studio spokesman said at the time, just before the new year, Fisher said he would not participate in any production associated with Hamada, presumptively ending his tenure in the DC Films universe. Well, uh, it's over now. Hamada spent a decade at New Line conjuring Final Destination, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, this is huge news. Uh, And look, I, I don't make these reports to just bury salt in Ray's face I will bury in some of the cult's face and I'm going to talk about that in more depth tonight I'm going live we're changing our topic we are going to get specific and take your comments and get your anybody's allowed to come in as long as they're civil if you're rude you're going to get muted from the comments because I don't want that energy if you're able to have a civil conversation let's join our change our minds tonight I'll put it up uh, I card here uh, you can check the I card to put Click that. Set a reminder. You're not going to miss this tonight, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. If, you, if you're watching this later, you can click there at the end uh, and watch that next. It'll be there. But I, I want to have a deeper conversation about this. But I, I wanted to make sure I reported this news because this news officially seals the deal for Ray Fisher. Ray Fisher was out there just so cocky and full of himself. And look, I wasn't there. From what I've heard from sources, he was difficult to work with. I've also heard Joss Whedon was difficult to work with. At the same time, I've been in the industry. And uh, a lot of people are just difficult to work with. People just sometimes are don't get along on sets. It's just what it is. I'm not trying to excuse or justify anything. I'm just saying sometimes people don't get along. And when someone like Ray comes out with such vague accusations trying to not only cancel Joss, but anybody associated with him, anybody who enabled him. It's just mind boggling to me how people just kept blindly following that train. And so just so we're clear, everybody, Walter Hamada wasn't there. And Ray clearly was drawn a line in the sand saying, Walter Hamada, I will not work with him. Well, clearly they decided, Ray, that they weren't working with you anymore. That's clearly what happened. So you save face and you put this out there before everything else came. So that way you could walk away and say, I was the better person here. You never threw him under the bus, though, until you realized they weren't going to side with you. And that's the reality that I think so many of this cult, and it's now absolutely a cult. There are people out there who just will blindly follow him, Ray and Zach, no matter what evidence or facts or real life is thrown at them. I mean, look, it's a movie, guys, at the end of the day. And Ray asked for a third-party investigation. He asked for Warner Media to do it. They did it, and nothing happened. 
Nothing happened. In fact, not only did nothing happen, they've now severed ties and allowed him to sever ties with the DCEU. And yes, there are now rumors out there that he's going to be re removed or recast from The Flash. I'm trying to confirm all that, but it would not surprise me in the slightest. So look, I hope it was worth it, Ray. I hope you that accountability that you got was worth it. Uh, we'll never know what it was, but your fan base that you keep going on doing streams with and playing Twitch streams with, you know, they got your back. But man, this might be the sign of not only the end of Ray Fisher, but is it the sign of the Zack Snyder's DCEU? There was hope, right? There was a lot of stuff coming out that maybe, and look, I, I'm a, I don't care. Do whatever that they want. But Walter Hamada called Zack Snyder's universe a cul-de-sac. This was in the interview he did with New York Times, the big interview. Uh, and uh, for now, Mr. Snyder is not part of the new DC films, which studio execs described as HBO Max project. The multiverse has a... Uh, wait, hold on. I want to make sure I, I find the, the, the quote. There's a specific cult... Uh, quote where they talk about the cold sack. <laughs> there it is. At least for now, Mr. Steiner is not part of DC Films pl Blueprint, with studio executives describing his HBO Max project as a storytelling cold sack, a street that leads nowhere. I mean, <sighs> look, I'm not even saying this to hate. I, I might get in a little hate because this fan base, this psychotic fan base, is just. I, I, I don't want them to succeed. They are what's terrible in fandoms. And I like Zack Snyder, actually. I don't got a problem with Zack Snyder. But fanning that fan base, I mean, what is wrong with these people? It's just, you defend someone because you believe in innocent until proven guilty. And so I've not to, I've defended the right for Joss Whedon to be able to defend himself is what I've done because I don't know Joss Whedon. I don't know if he's a jerk. Who knows? But Walter Hamada puts this out there, prompting Ray Fisher to then say, I will never work with him. And uh, they double down and say they're re-upping their deal for three years with him. So where do you think Warner Media's allegiance now lies? Do you think Walter Hamada is going to be rushing to bring Ray Fisher and Zach more into the mix? I mean, you might see Zach trying to save face and push Ray out. And then all that stuff Ray did will be for nothing. Who knows? But man, money talks and allegiances talk. And at a certain point, this either means it's definitely the end of Ray, but it might also mean the end of uh, Zach Snyder's DCEU. We're going to talk about all that tonight live on our live stream. But just to give you a tease, uh, look at this. Look at the fan base. I mean, this one made me laugh. Oh, oh, oh that's so funny. The, the, the fan base out there resorts to look at this. Look at this. Oh, you got me, man. You sure showed me that you guys aren't psychos. Good work, Zack Snyder cult. I, after that, I blocked this guy who's just calling out lies and hitting me up because I did this. I did a tweet here. I said, wait, I thought he was out. After pissing off the insanely bankable and totally rational Ray Fisher and his Borg life mob, how could this be? Warner Media, after investigating fairly, is choosing Walter, who they like, better over Ye Fisher? What? Uh, that clearly made the uh, the cult salty. And now they, of course, are dragging out old accusations, lies. They're out there just trying to hate. And I'm just laughing because look what they're, look at this. Like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not like, oh, woe is me. I'm dead. No, I'm just like, like, can you imagine this is your take? Like, this is what you want to put out into the world to defend a movie and a guy who's clearly not going to win, who's clearly said accountability. And now the, even the studio who he's fought tooth and nail to get to do the investigation does the investigation and realizes, yeah, what? Well, okay, Ray, what do you want us to do? You, you, you're talking out of your ass. There's, there's nothing here that we can do. And uh, look at this stuff. I mean, this is disgusting. I had to bleep some of this out so I don't get, so I don't get attacked by YouTube's <laughs> feeds to say I'm doing this because I'm not. I'm calling out how ridiculous some of these fans are. It's just, it's insane to me. It's insane to me. So, uh, Ray Fisher, look, man, good luck in your career. It looks like Cyborg is over. Uh, Cy Ray Fisher, Cyborg in the DC universe is donezo. Uh, I hope, I hope it was worth it, Ray. I hope you got that accountability you wanted. I guess that we're not going to get that apology from you. Oh, well, we'll just have to agree to disagree on things. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened, Ray, but I don't like the way you went about it. I don't like you fanning the flames of mob culture. Cancel culture is real. And what you tried to do was cancel a bunch of people without giving us any specifics. And I can't sign up for that. Now, if something really did happen, maybe you should have handled it like Gal Gadot did and actually do it in the moment and actually clear it up with the hires ups then in the moment and not wait three years after you put on a face saying, yeah, Joss, we're in good hands with Joss. You said that you said that. And then you've still not put out anything and we're done. We're done. Walt Walter is done. They've decided with him. Warner media is clearly done. 
Moving on. I'm sure you're not going to be able to move on, though. You're going to keep digging this up. Just like everyone accuses me of digging stuff, Ray's going to keep this going. But I'm going to try my best to move on as well because this is ridiculous. But let's get it all out tonight. I hope you guys will join us for a live stream of Change Our Minds. Jody and I are going to get on this. We're also, I'm also going to be positive about Zach. Zach put out a tweet about a uh, original Wonder Woman 19, 1854 version that I think could have been badass. Look, I'm not against Zack Snyder. I'm against this cult of a minority of fans that are so extreme and psychotic that anybody in that base fanning and allowing them to be out there and liking them and supporting them, dude, you're all you're all far gone. And that that's what's wrong with this. We're all allowed to criticize. We're all allowed to make our comments. Uh, you can say whatever you want. Uh, but people who have spread out hate and lies specifically, man, that's gross. That is awful. And I'm, I'm over it. So... The death of the cult, it seems, come March when this movie's over, will there be anything left? Uh, we're going to talk all about that, so make sure you do. If you haven't already, make sure you've also hit that subscribe button, please. Make sure you hit the all alerts and notifications if you like this. Smash that like button because I'm sure a lot of the cult is going to downvote this one. But you know what? Any engagement matters. doesn't matter. You watching it this far, even if you hate me, you just helped the algorithm. So thank you. Thank you all for watching. Check that box on the left if you want to remind yourself to tune in live as Jody and I get in this deeper and lots more on Change Our Minds Live, 930 Pacific. I'm sorry, Eastern Standard Time. Thanks, everybody.